In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create amazing and professional websites with Go High Level in just a few minutes, really. And these are the type of websites that you could actually go ahead and pitch to businesses and you could easily sell it for a few hundred to even thousands of dollars. So if you want to follow along, then go ahead and sign up with the first link in the description below and let us get straight into it. So when you first, uh, you know, open up your Go High Level account, this is kind of what you're going to see. And what you want to do is you want to come here to sites. And then after that, you want to come here to websites on the top and then you will click on new website. So whether you are creating this for a client or a potential client, or you're creating for this for yourself, it doesn't really matter. You know, the process would work the same way. And by the way, another reason why Go High Level is great is because since you can host it kind of from like your own account, even if you sell it to a client, well, they are going to be almost like dependent on you to some extent. Obviously, you could transfer the site and everything, but you know, it's easier to retain clients if uh, you have the control by you making everything from your own account. But anyways, that's just a side note. Um, here you have two options to choose from. You can either start building your website from blank or you could also use a template. Now, even with the blank option, it's not super difficult, but the templates, again, do save you a lot of time and it's easier, especially if you are a beginner. So you click on templates and then you click on continue. And as you can see now, we have a ton of different uh, website templates that we could choose from. And the cool thing is like, they really thought about pretty much all sorts of businesses that you could want to make a website for, right? You see, you have public relations here, you have a donut shop, a deck builder company, yard care, tax services, uh, event organizer, like, you know, anything you could really think of. Uh, now, the example I wanted to give in this video is a dental um, practice, right? So we're going to make a quick website for a dental uh, practice. So I just put in there dental in the search bar and you can see they have uh, four templates for that actually, which is quite nice. So uh, you can also just preview the template that you are looking at by clicking on that, on that little eye icon and then you can scroll it, see how it looks. I think this one looks very nice, minimal, uh, you know, nothing that we don't need, but everything we do. Uh, so I'm going to click on continue and now it's going to add the template um, onto my high level account and we are going to be able to actually edit it. So you can see as you hover your mouse or your cursor, um, you have these uh, orange parts, you have the green parts uh, and uh, yeah, basically the way it works is the green parts uh, or the green outline just shows you uh, an, an entire section and within a section you can have multiple elements, right? Um, so you can have titles, you can have pictures like this, you can have uh, like full on, you know, paragraphs in there, uh, anything you want really. And um, I think this is a very smart way um, that they put it because, you know, you can actually also move uh, like sections around. So for example, if I wanted to move this part, uh, you know, lower, I can just click here on move down on the left side. And now these two have changed their place, right? So it's very easy to kind of restructure the website to however you want it to be. And also, you know, within the, the sections and the columns. So for example, this is a column and you can see we have two columns in here. Um, within that as well, it's pretty easy to change the text. You literally can just uh, highlight whatever you want to change and change it. So for example, um, to start with the most easy and basic thing, if I wanted to change this text, I could just uh, change this, you know, from instead from welcome to your company to welcome to um, whatever Aspen Dental, okay? Um, and that's pretty much how it is, right? I can literally just, you know, change um, the text to whatever I want. So I'm going to change it to a better smile instantly. Another thing that I recommend changing for sure when you are first uh, starting a website is the logo and kind of the branding, okay? These are the first steps that I personally like to do. So you can see we have the logo right here on the top part. Um, basically, whenever you highlight something, you will have this like, um, you know, settings part on the left. Uh, and that's where you are able to actually change uh, everything up, right? So you can see here, as I scroll down, we have the logo in menu checked and you also have the brand logo. Um, so I'm going to actually go ahead and change that now and upload my own logo that I want to use. So whenever you are trying to uh, upload your own image, uh, whether that be a logo or just a regular picture, you can always just click here on this little picture icon 
uh, and then it's going to take you to kind of like your your media library i'm not sure what it's called exactly in go high level i'm just going to call it media library and then you can click here on upload file and then you can choose whatever uh, file you want to upload right i'm going to choose uh, this one i just took this from google i have no idea who aspen dental is but i'm just going to use their logo for uh, the example shout out to aspen dental uh and uh yeah now you can see i have the logo here i can just double click it and basically just like that i was able to replace the logo on there now if you want to change the size of your logo or any image for that matter of fact um you can come here under uh, that option to the width and if i wanted to make it bigger i could make it 250 or even 500 right if i wanted to make it smaller i could make it smaller I'm going to leave this actually at 200 because I think that looks quite good. Now, you can also change uh, more things in every section like the padding. So basically the padding is just like how much space there is on top and on the bottom. So if I wanted to have less space, um, you know, on the top and bottom, then I can just lower that. Or if I want to have more space on the top, for example, I can just make that um, uh, amount higher simple as that when it comes to changing more of the branding uh, I mean obviously you can change colors uh, so for example if I wanted to change the color of this text I could just highlight it come here to color and then I can just choose whatever color I want I'm going to choose this darker blue for example um, I could obviously also change the size of it to make it a little bit bigger uh, by coming up here and then changing it. And by the way, you can also change the mobile size and the desktop size uh, separately, which is very useful. Now, if I wanted to change this button, for example, again, I can just select it, come here to general and change it to whatever color I want. So I'm going to choose this uh, darker one as well. I could even change the style of the sign up uh, button or the appointment button. You can see they have a bunch of uh, different options in here uh, with different looks. I actually quite like this one. So I'm just going to go with that. And they have even more advanced settings in here as well um, if you want to go deeper into it. Now, when it comes to your buttons, uh, the way you can change the function of them is you just select it. And then here you can see you have the button actions, right? So you could have it do a bunch of different things. It could open up a pop up. It could um, go and take them to a website. It could, uh, you know, scroll to a certain part of the website. It could go to a page on the website. Uh, it could, you know, have an upsell or product sell. It could have uh, like a call function function an SMS function email address membership so many different things when it comes to brick and mortar businesses I would recommend personally just either setting up a calendar for the business and just linking everyone to that so they can directly book their appointment in Calendly or you can even uh, you know have like a, an actual calendar integration here inside of go I level so if you click here on a plus and you add a new um, you add a new section all right i'm going to add a new row as well one column add element and i'm going to choose a calendar uh right here and uh, you would have to you know use your own uh, calendar you can create that in go high level if you want i can show you guys how to do that as well but you can see i was able to integrate a calendar directly from go high level as well so you don't even necessarily need all these extra tools like calendly which you need to pay a monthly fee for you could also set up the scheduling uh, inside of Goi Level as well. Now, again, when it comes to changing images, uh, you can just select the image you want to change and then come here to the general image settings. And then here, just click on that, upload your picture that you want to put up. You can just click on upload file, choose the image you want to use, and then you know just upload it and it's going to replace uh, the image that you had there previously. So very, very easy to use, like I said. Now, if you want to change the background of your section, you just click somewhere here on the side. So you highlight the entire section and you can come here to the background image and then you can upload your own file. So I think right now it has uh, this thing with this uh, blue splash in the background. If I wanted to use my own background, I could just go ahead, come here, background image and upload my own. Now let's scroll down a little bit more. So for example, you can see here, the background color was uh, this lighter blue. Again, also here, I can just highlight the section, uh, choose whatever color I want it to be instead. And it's going to change it to exactly that color. Obviously you want to make sure that the color do actually make sense and they look good together um, but yeah now here uh, you can see we have the different services this offer so again you could literally just like take this template 
put in whatever services that certain dental office offers uh, as an example that you would make the website for and uh, just change it up real quick and it's super super simple to do and you can put together an amazing website within just a few hours uh, and like I said charge money for it if you want to now let's talk about how you can add your own video to your website because that's also quite important so all you need to do is just select the video that's in your template uh, and then go ahead and select here the video type so it can be from YouTube Vimeo Vistia it can be a custom embed HTML5 or even a hosted video basically hosted video means that you can just upload the file directly into your go high level media library select it from there and then it's going to be hosted from go high level so that's pretty cool let's just say i want to use a simple youtube video i literally just click here um i just paste the video url here as you can see the thumbnails here as well you can choose whether you want it to autoplay or not um, or whether you want to have the controls or not so you can turn off the controls of the video as well which is pretty cool um, you can choose whether you want it to be, you know, full width um, or not. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like it's super simple. Depending on what type of um, place you host the video, you might even have more settings. So for example, if you use Vistia, I believe uh, you even have more settings than just this that you can change. Now here, let's say I wanted to add a picture of uh, someone at the dental office, right? Again, I can just select the picture, come here, upload my own file. I'm going to use this amazing picture of this female dentist just double click on it and as you can see it has been replaced now you can see this is too big though right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come here uh, and put in like 200 pixels or maybe even let's just do like 160 170 let's just go ahead. let's just do 160 pixels and now it's also good size wise now touching a little bit more into adding more things onto your website or removing things from your website Right. If you wanted to, um, let's say, add an extra part or extra track section in here, you can just click on the plus, um, you know, the green plus button and you can choose whether you want it to be a full width, um, like layout, medium, small or wide. I'm just going to use a full width in this case. And then you can add a row inside of your section. You can choose whether you want it to be a one column, two column, three, four, five or six column. You know, most of the time you will just use like one to three columns from my experience. Um, but yeah, the columns, you know, for example, this is like a three column section. So how many columns you should choose will depend on what you are trying to create really. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to use a one and then you can click on add element. And here, you know, you can start adding headlines like pretty much anything that you could want. I'm not going to, you know, spend too much time on this because I want this to be a rather like quick and straight to the point video. But if you guys want to see, for example, how I built my uh, landing page, which is this one in go high level, then I could show you guys exactly how to do that. It's pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, I'm just going to add a headline here, uh, which is going to be, you know, don't delay um, book your call today whatever right and i'm just going to move this a uh, few sections up so it will actually be kind of like above the the scheduler thing right so that's pretty much it here uh let's just do this as well at the bottom obviously if you wanted to customize these you could add their own uh phone number in here for example for the whatsapp um so whatever that might be you could put in the office location the email address the site um here i mean this is a pretty cool one as well this is like a map um, so you could also change this um, you could put in whatever location the dental office is at um, so let's just put in a dental office in new york and then it can actually you know pinpoint people directly there you, you know you can put in the office hours whatever it is that you want to do so I hope you guys feel a little bit more comfortable right now with building out a quick website in go high level. If you want to see more videos on this, let me know. I'm uh, very much looking forward to making more content uh, going into some of the more advanced things. But this is just for you if you are just trying to get started, right? And uh, build your first website. It's very, very simple, guys. Trust me. So go ahead and sign up for go high level in the description below and do something like this for yourself as well. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.